Hello, I'm Lawrence Brown, America's finest British import, according to the Quincy Gazette. As an impressionable child, I firmly believed that my English hometown of Grimsby was the rugged centre of the universe. Not even the smell of battered fish could convince me otherwise. Then, at 12, my life changed forever. It was then that I borrowed this book from my school's library, America, an aerial view. Overnight, my obsession grew with a country 3,000 miles to the left. No page went unturned as I ingested colourful, expansive images of the 50 states, a memo that outlined the bits the movies left out. And eventually, I moved to that country, and page by page I've made that book my reality, just like the late fees. Here's my latest trek through the boundless landscape of the United States of America. By ten, and we left by ten forty. Well, but I didn't. I didn't take into account the time difference. There isn't a time difference, is there? Not it's at all. It's all on central. sound of peace that's a sound of solitude and I'm here off route 66 in a forest preserve and that's one of the beautiful things about traveling on a historic route like route 66 is that you can just stop stretch your legs and look like an idiot in front of people while you film yourself in a public place I haven't done this in a while two geese over there mating uh, don't show that don't show that well, well, we got lost on route because a lot of maps don't include Route 66 because it's it's historic. It's not actually still technically part of the interstate highway system. So we're having to sort of, you know, find out where it's been designated to be historic and rejoin it. But we're currently in someone's neighbourhood. It's fun, isn't it? Well, I just found something that we could have done with about an hour ago. A map. So we just stopped off for a very quick break here in Wilmington, Illinois, where we have the very famous Gemini Giant, who is, he's here on Route 66. He's sort of a remnant of the 1960s interest in all things space, right? So a bit like the first man on the moon, Stretch Armstrong, Neil Armstrong. By all of the kitschy things that we think we're gonna encounter, like, like that cow. Like that cow. What is it doing in the road? <laughs> oh, that cow. So yeah, I was on looking the at roof. The, the fake there's one. There's a cow on the roof. I instead. was looking at the one that this farmer was leading to water. After a year of being in lockdown, it really is a relief to come to jail. Specifically, a two-cell jail here in Gardner, Illinois. Even though it's one of many quirky attractions off Route 66, the wife and I are nonetheless glad that we got a bed and breakfast.
Well, this looks very, you know, typical Midwest America, doesn't it? All of yeah. the mall areas and that. The house shaped like a barn. In many ways, I can't wait to get out into the open road so you can just see all the nature and birds, flocks of birds just flying over Illinois into the sunset like us. I mean, we won't be flying, we will be driving. That's already been made clear, but you get my point. Doors. House There's a whole house full of doors and only doors. I think it was a shop. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are you telling me a shop that sells doors? Correct. <laughs> How do you get in? It's too late. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Through a door. That yeah, was, I, I'm assuming that's where I was correct. going with that. City of Lincoln also boasts, according to the Guinness Book of Records, the world's largest covered wagon. But it does seat, as you can see, Abraham Lincoln, and it keeps up the tradition in Illinois of having just really big things. It once had the world's largest skyscraper, it has the biggest ketchup bottle, the biggest pencil, the biggest, the biggest president, and Robert Wadlow. good navigator you're not a good navigator but it's I do like driving navigator. with you good. so I do keep you entertained at the very least I guess so that wasn't a hard yes <laughs> I was hoping for a harder yes than that Well, no, because, I mean, my thinking is that this is our test run, and then once things just get a bit more, you know, normal again in life, we'll do the whole route. And maybe. Maybe. That, again, that's not a hard yes. I don't well, love the idea of being the only person that drives the entire route. Well, I mean, I could do half of it. Except you need a driver's license? Yeah, that is true. I mean, I don't want to break the law, but I could, I mean, I could pretend to do it. You know how in Hook... They pretend to throw food at each other. Just imagine that I've driven half of it and that'll take some of the burden off you. Silence. You know, looking back on our journey across much of Illinois Route 66, I think it's fair to say we had a fantastic time and you can tell that because I am smiling on the inside. 
I felt a profound burst of relief, and not just at the rest stop, at not only having left my house, but the city too. It was a joy to see other parts of Illinois and to confirm that, like Indiana, the state is mainly composed of farmland and self-storage units. But in between all that, Illinois is packed with hidden gems. I suppose the best part is I haven't even come close to seeing them all. But I think my favourite part of this entire trek was looking for 16th US President and Top Hat influencer Abraham Lincoln. And he did a pretty terrible job of hiding because he was everywhere. But it was really emotional going through that museum and to see the place that he lived in Springfield and also his final resting place. So if you do get to go to Springfield, maybe prioritise the Lincoln Museum, his house, which was closed due to COVID-19, his tomb, and the Lincoln New Salem State Park, which I'm told is amazing. We didn't get to go because we ran out of time. And finally, it was moving, literally, to drive along America's mother road, Route 66. And though we didn't come close to traversing the entire length of it, it was amazing to get a loose sense of how Americans might have travelled on this road between the 1920s when it was first built and the 1980s when it was removed from the list of highways. But I'll leave you now with a warning. Travelling along Route 66 does come with a lot of people who are trying to sell you merchandise. Every little museum will have you exit through the gift shop. It's just expensive, tacky rubbish and my money stayed in my wallet. Hey, where do you want this Route 66 sign? I don't want that. I do want that. Uh, I'll probably, I'll put it on the wall. Hey, I really like your shirt. Thanks.